Hi, this is Know Your Worth on Social Media, a video activity for Media Literacy Week by the Information and Communications Technology Council, ICTC, in partnership with MediaSmarts. Hello, my name is Vev. I'm an e-learning delivery team lead at ICTC and a digital citizenship curriculum designer. That means that I make content to help students become experts on how to use the internet, including safety, cyber forensics, and social media algorithm manipulation. Today, we are going to do an activity that will show you just how valuable you and your attention is to the companies that own your social media accounts. We will first learn about the different types of ads on social media and how much is made every time you look at or click on an ad. Today's demo will start with Instagram, but this method can be applied to many other platforms such as TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. So what to expect? By the end of this activity, you will be able to apply a critical eye to the ways that your social media interacts with you. You will also walk away with a much stronger understanding of your personal value to social media companies and how to be a much more conscious user of platforms like Instagram. You've probably heard the expression, if the product is free, then you are the product. Social media platforms like Instagram are designed to keep your eyes glued to the screen, keeping you scrolling for as much time as possible. Instagram is addictive by design. That means that you are giving them money just by being there and even more money if you click on anything. Yes, anything. If you were to just scroll through Instagram without clicking on anything, and that includes simply liking your friend's posts, Instagram makes about $11.60 a year off every user. That's just under a dollar a month that you're giving to them, like 96 cents to be exact. Uh, add on any clicks you make on sponsored content and that number goes up. So did you buy something on Instagram by clicking an Instagram ad? Well, that number just went up even higher. So what can you do about it? Most people, especially teenagers, are pretty numb to the constant bombardment of ads on their socials. Your brain probably tunes them out and automatically scrolls past most of them, right? Well, today we're gonna turn on your conscious understanding of targeted and sponsored ads and give you access to the full picture of how Instagram makes money off of your attention. So let's start with what kinds of ads exist on Instagram. Some are super easy to spot, while others are intentionally more sneaky. Sponsored ads can show up in your feed or stories and can be spotted pretty easily. They can look just like regular posts, but you'll see the word sponsored at the top left corner. They can also include a call to action, a CTA button, that is usually tagged as learn more or open link on the bottom left. About 30% of targeted ads you see on Instagram will be sponsored ads. Let's look at some examples of sponsored ads and test your ability to ID them. When you see the ad on the screen, say the first word or two that pops into your head and the name of the brand if you can. I will do the first two with you and then you say the rest aloud to yourself. Okay, so in this example, I see a flower, I see the word spring, I see the color red. So this is an ad for perfume. In this ad, I am seeing nails, I am seeing makeup and beauty products. This is an ad for Treat Well UK. Okay, this next one you do yourself. What do you see? Ready, go. What do you see here? Okay, five seconds for this one, DC. Ready, what do you see here? Okay, five seconds again, what do you see in this ad? Keep going, only a few more to go. What do you see in this ad? What is this ad about? Can you figure it out? This last one's a little weird. Can you figure out what it is? So now what? Instagram will track your interaction with sponsored ads by impressions or clicks. An impression is literally just your eyeballs hitting the ad. Doesn't matter how fast you scroll past it, that's still an impression. Instagram is also tracking how long your eyes linger on the ad to the microsecond. If you hover over a sponsored ad, your algorithm will assume you're interested and probably show it to you again at least once or twice. So the next kind of ad is called an organic ad. Do you follow any brands or major labels online? All of that content is an organic ad. This content is designed to get you interested in the brand or their current promoted product. Let's look at some examples of organic ads. So 
Just like we did with the sponsored ads, when you see the ad flash on the screen, say the first word or two that pops in your head and the name of the brand if you can. All right, I'm not gonna do these ones with you. They should be pretty easy. Just take a look and what do you see? What brand is this? Sometimes the brand is really obvious, but what they're trying to sell you, the product, isn't really obvious. What do you think the product is here? Now remember, we're not here to pass judgment on any brands. Do you know this brand? What is it trying to sell you? What's the product here? Can you figure it out? Some brands use really obvious marketing strategies, like super cute pets, to show off their product. What product are they trying to sell you here? Some brands will go as far as to use a super famous person, a familiar face, or a really beautiful landscape, or all of the above. What product are you being sold in this picture? This may be an unusual brand to some of you, but the message is pretty clear. The product is quite literally in your face, and that's a camera trick used on purpose. What's this brand? This is a super famous brand that's known for using warm colors and soft, familiar graphics to evoke emotions in the user like yourself. What are you being sold in this picture? Can you tell? What brand is this and what's their product? This is pretty clear and obvious, right? You want to get what this is in three seconds or less every time. For super obvious companies that have easily recognizable brands like this one, which I'm sure you got immediately, they're selling you more than a product. They're selling you a concept, a feeling, or trying to evoke some kind of memory. What are they doing here? Can you figure it out? For this last example of organic ads, take a look at this brand and their product. What does it mean to you? I'm sure you're familiar with the concept. What does it mean? Okay, so that's it for the organic ad examples. The third kind of ad we want to review is the sneakiest to track and by far the most controversial form of marketing, the influencer ad or the embedded ad. This is when a company tries to sell you their product by having it used, demonstrated, or just in the background of someone's personal Instagram account, hopefully a familiar face. Most accounts featuring embedded advertising are famous people with thousands or tens of thousands or bajillions of followers, but many brands are now using large groups of micro influencers with smaller follower accounts to reach their targeted demographics like teenagers. So just like we did with the other two kinds of ads, when you see the content flash on the screen, say the first word or two that pops into your head and the name of the brand if you can. This one might be a little harder to do, so pay close attention. Okay, we're starting super easy, obviously, with this one. Can you tell me what the name of this influencer is and what are they selling? What is the product being presented to you? What is the product being sold to you in this picture? There's a lot going on, but what is your eye drawn to first? With this influencer ad, you can really tell immediately what's being sold to you. So what's the first word that pops into your head? And notice how the angles are used. Again, super famous person using a very obvious product. So you know right what it is the second you look at it. You will be able to get this in about half a second. But is there another thing that's being sold to you at the same time? Try to think about it. Some super famous influencers use really obvious and consistent uh, ways to attract your attention. This is clear in this uh, particular influencer. They like to use the same style of POV style whenever they're giving away or offering a product. What do you think this is? So this is another example of a very obvious ad using super obvious designs, but you'll notice how close the person's face is to the camera. That is supposed to evoke a level of intimacy, so you're more likely to stay and look longer, which is the whole point of Instagram. Even if you don't know who these influencers are, you can tell pretty quickly that they are influencers. The lighting, the staging, the way they're standing, the way that they have been clearly altered in the photo, but what they're selling is kind of tiny. 
Can you figure out what the product is here? This is an example of a very obvious product forward ad. What, what is the influencer doing here? Are they looking at you? Are they looking at the camera? Or are they looking at both? Is there anything else that's being sold to you in this image? Take a look at this example. Doesn't this look familiar? The background and the way that they've positioned the product? Using gorgeous backgrounds is a very common strategy. You're gonna to wanna to take a look at that beautiful landscape. And then, surprise, there's a product. So this last one isn't as obvious, but it's still very obviously an influencer. Um, can you figure out what this product is without reading the text first, if you can? Uh, I think it's not as obvious as people think it is. Let me know what you think. Did you find the influencer ads more difficult to spot? That is absolutely on purpose. Remember the note about impressions from the first demo? The longer you look at an ad, the more revenue is made by Instagram. You are more likely to linger over an influencer post, even like, share, or repost the content. If you were in charge of making money at Instagram, wouldn't you try to keep your users looking at your content for as long as possible? Instagram's job is to make as much money off of your attention as possible. And they don't even pay for your hard work. Okay, now I want you to take your new social media literacy skills and apply it to your own Instagram account. This can be done by yourself or with a friend. One person can be the timekeeper and the ad counter. The other person is going to scroll through Instagram. You can always just use a timer on your phone by yourself if you're by yourself. Set a timer for one minute. You should have enough time for about five seconds per post, just like the practice we did before. Every time you see an ad, so that's sponsored, organic, or influencer, say ad. Every time you see user-created content, like your friend's posts, say not. If you are by yourself for this activity, I recommend using a piece of paper and a pencil to create a tally chart of ad and not for yourself. So pause here and try the activity once. All right, now let's take a look at your numbers. How many ads did you see? How many user created posts did you see? What about the ratio of ads to not ads? If you got a 50 50 split, or even majority advertisements, that's actually totally normal. Most people will see more ads than unique content from their friends and family on Instagram. That ratio seems a little crazy now, doesn't it? To put it in perspective, that would be the same as having to watch 15 minutes of ads on YouTube for every 15 minutes of show that you wanna watch. And the show is broken into one minute segments squished between ads. That's insane. You probably would get so frustrated by the constant interruptions to your show that you might just give up and close it. But why don't we have the same reaction when it's our social media? Why are we okay with this? Okay, I'd like to ask you to do this activity one more time. This time we are going to combine the task of counting ads and not ads with the one word description from the start. This is gonna give us a bigger picture of not only how many ads you're exposed to, but also the kinds of products that Instagram is targeting you with. For this activity, instead of using a one minute timer, I'm gonna ask you to count to 20 posts. For each post, you're going to mark on a piece of paper with add or not add, and like this tally example here, if it's an ad, write down the name of the product or a one word to describe it. Pause the video here to try the activity. Okay, let's take a look at your results. First, how many ads did you see out of the 20 posts? Was it more than the first time? Less? Let's uh, take a look at the name of the products or descriptions you wrote down. Are any of them duplicates or similar? Try to look at the patterns in the words. This collection of words may not seem like much, but it's actually a window into the algorithms behind social media platforms like Instagram. If you were to repeat this exercise once or twice more, I guarantee you that more of a pattern would emerge, forming a clear image of your personal digital data footprint. So how does this work? This set of words is based on a very complex system of targeted tracking tools that can pick up any kind of data points about you every second of the day. Your location, your movement, your proximity to other people, your shopping choices, your photos, your texts, literally everything you do on your phone or near a phone uh, feeds your digital data profile. And all of these are stored on Instagram's parent company, Meta, in a large digital file about you. Each person has about 52,000 data points, according to Meta. 
This information is then organized by which kind of products and content you are most likely going to want to see and also probably sold to other people. So what did we learn today? Social media platforms like Instagram are not free. You pay about a dollar a month to use it with your time and attention. Social media is mostly advertising. You love it as much as you want, but just be fully aware of what you're choosing to love. <laughs> Apply a critical eye to what you see. Don't be a passive user. Keep track of what content is being pushed at you. Notice duplicates and notice patterns. Don't like what you see? Change it. Take control of your feed and be intentional with your focus. Like and unfollow or unlike and unfollow problematic content and boost the good. Before I go, please keep an eye out for other future ICTC content opportunities, including the Canadian Youth Cyber Education Initiative, Cyber Titan. That is coming up soon and I encourage you to check it out. That's all for me. Thank you very much for your time today. I hope you learned something about your worth on social media. Bye.